Hello and welcome back to my channel. So uh, I'm going to continue working on the uh, <clears throat> Blade Runner spinner car, my version of the Blade Runner spinner car. Uh, what I've done is, uh, just before is I have uh, put the uh, the interior back inside the uh, the car and made sure that it's fitting properly. So the interior is back in. And it seems to fit. I've got a small problem where, whereby the door, the doors are opening and closing, but um, they're not, uh, they're not holding themselves down. They keep springing back up again. So I might have to uh, look at that and uh, perhaps figure out a way of keeping them closed properly. It's probably to do with the fact that the car is, in, is a broken toy anyway. I mean, it doesn't look so bad from this angle, and I might be able to get away with it. But we'll see how we see how we go. So anyway, the interior is back inside. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start. Is I'm going to put the mandibles, uh, yeah, the mandibles into the wheel arch and connect them to the wheel arch, and uh, that will then give me the overall shape of where I'm, of where I am. And uh, we'll see how that uh, where that takes us. All right, so um, I'm just going about. I'm just going to do that, and uh, I'll uh, and we'll have a look at the um, shape when that's done. Okay, so um, I have put the mandibles on, and uh, I put them into the wheel arches as you can see, and put uh, some uh, putty in to fill them up. And um, I know it looks very ugly at the moment, of course, um, and doesn't look anything like what uh, it's going to eventually look like. But we're on our way. We've, the journey has begun, as they say. So, uh, yeah, so the, the mandibles are in. And what's more important, most important is that the doors open and close. So, obviously, what I need to do is make sure is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, I've got to now make sure that the this frame this uh, uh chassis um marries in with the mandibles i've got to put putty into there smooth it all over make the whole thing look as if it's one piece of metal that's going to take some time but the basic shape is there now so that's good um and uh yeah it's looking uh it's beginning to uh, resemble what i had in mind in the first place um this is a little happy accident in actual fact the uh these two flaps because um i might put uh some mock wheels in there to make it look as if um this is how it looks like when it's actually on the ground with wheels in so that uh we've got uh so that it's actually uh, capable of going into on the, on the ground as well as uh flying in the sky um, as regards to the back, I have absolutely no idea. I've absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing here, whether what I'm going to be doing with that wheel arch, whether it's going to be blocked off completely, or or what. I have no idea yet. I'm going to let that cogitate in my mind, and we'll come back to that. But yes, we're we're off and running. So the uh, the doors open. I can actually fit the uh, the. Um, uh, little man inside the uh, the vehicle in fact i'll show you that right now there he is inside the vehicle and he fits quite nicely and i can close the uh, door down and one can see him inside i know the door still doesn't close precisely uh, uh sharply down it's got a little bit of a gap there so again i'm gonna have to sort something out there but, okay, there you go, so far, that's how we are so far. And uh, onward and upward. There you go. Right, see you next time. Right, let's continue on where we left off. So I have put putty along the mandibles along the top here. And I'm in the process now, continuing to try and marry the line of the chassis in with the mandibles themselves 
and um, by putting filler and putty on and then sanding and so on I'm hoping to get a, a kind of smooth through line between the chassis here and the other plastic mandibles there. The only problem that I've discovered and I just have not been able to resolve it is the doors. They just weren't closing properly. Every time I put the door up and put it down the door just wasn't closing closing it was pinging out and that's a problem and i thought to myself well shall i ban the whole idea and I take the doors off or shall i continue persevering and see if i can find out the root of the problem or simply glue the doors into place and in the end i have glued the doors into place they will not open it's a shame um, but i thought that i'd rather cut my losses and create a model which is a static model rather than one that has doors opening and closing then abandoning the whole process altogether you can still see in to the uh, opening of the uh, vehicle so you can still see that there's detail inside of there and because it's black it doesn't matter too much I guess and you can still see through the open cockpit as well the uh, windows rather so I'm going to go continuing working the problem, continuing working through the, the, through the model. And, uh, well, yes, it was my mistake. These things happen in model making. Sometimes you have an idea, you really want it to work, and the idea just doesn't come to fruition. Um, next time I do something similar, I will try and find out why that, that occurred and try to rectify it. But for now, I'm going to keep it as it is and continue on. Um, putting putty, uh, marrying up this area here, making it look as if the door exists and would open if there was such, if there was a line through it. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep the doors closed for now. Then the next problem will be, or the next issue will be, what I do with the back. And I'm thinking in terms of exposing, of cutting off the back completely and making it more exposed with exposed engine parts and stuff like that which i'm now collecting quite a bit of us quite a few greeblies and stuff to um work on that because i've got this idea that my vehicle will be um will be a lot more junkyard shaped than the sleek designs that you saw in blade run itself anyway but this is a springboard for ideas it's not it's not going to be a replica obviously of an actual um, Blade Runner car. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Let's continue and uh, we'll see where we get to. Okay, so I have uh, now put um, filler over all of this part now and merged it in and the other side as well. So I'm quite happy with the uh, result. Oops, I'm going to try and get it round. Difficult to control the camera and my hands at the same time. Right. As you can see, it follows the line of the chassis. Uh, it's still roughly um, uh, sanded, so I need to do a bit more sanding on it. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. The uh, the I think the mandibles now, um, yeah, they merge into the chassis quite well, and um, I'm happy with the, how the front is looking. Um, I am not sure. About, I'm going to add some greeblies into the uh, onto the onto the mandibles just to make it give it a bit more of an industrial feel. I don't want it to look too showroom, you know, just out of the showroom. I don't want it to look too much like that. I want to give it more of an industrial feel to it. Um, but yeah, that's coming along nicely. So um, I'm going to start turning my attention to the back part now and uh, deciding on how I want to cut this and to show to, to expose engines at the back um right let's get on with it and uh well i'll give you an update shortly okay so what you can see i've done i've cut the back off the uh, vehicle completely and started applying greeblies along the bottom to simulate um some kind of engine structure um just to show you what these are uh that is from a nerf gun i think it's a um a, a telescopic sight that's from a, a star wars toy broken star wars toy this 
set this this bit here is from an old printer uh, some printers most printers have the same kind of stuff inside them but this was from a different app printer and it had a different set of uh, of bits so that came from that and then i've just that's it again an earth gun thing here and other bits and pieces from old broken toys so the, the whole thing looks rather like that in profile of course i haven't finished it yet i'm going to have um, i'm going to have uh, other greeblies onto it and so on getting into focus there yeah i'll have wires dangling from it what i've got to try and work out now is how to mount it onto a uh, stand um and that's gonna be rather difficult because um, i'm trying to find what kind of stand i've got so i found this um, piece of perspex which um, i'm thinking that uh, i can put two magnets at the top and then perch the um, vehicle on top of the perspex that's the idea at the moment but i'm uh, i'm toying with that idea however onward and upward i think the next thing to do with the vehicle is to apply a quick coat of primer to it just to see where i am and uh, where that takes me um yeah so it's got a nice pre it's beginning to develop a nice profile and that's good i don't think i'm going to add anything more to the top of it i like this kind of minimal minimalist kind of profile i think it kind of is beginning to work quite well okay uh, onward and upward let's go on from there okay so i've uh, cut the acrylic and uh, i've put uh, a, a magnet a magnetic clamp at the top so now the uh, thing now the uh, spinner car is now attached to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, acrylic stand now all i've got to do now is to get a piece of um, wood and get and, and get the acrylic um uh, glued and clamped to the piece of wood but i think that stand looks quite nice actually looking as it is as it, as, as it does at the moment yeah so now i can now work on the uh, on the on the vehicle um free of uh, putting it down on the, on the on the surface i can actually work it work it in three dimensions which is quite good i can actually also turn it around just a minute there you are that's the other side <laughs> just turned it around in the clamp and uh, yeah i'm uh, i'm happy with that that's looking quite nice now i'm not sure at the moment whether i could leave the tra uh, leave the um, perspex transparent and just make that little bit part of the vehicle by painting it in merging it in or do the whole thing black and give it a black stand i'm going to leave it for now and see what it looks like with the whole thing painted properly but i'm i'm beginning to think that this looks this looks pretty good from quite a few angles now yeah i'm uh, i think this looks quite good and the nice thing of course about having it on magnets is that you can actually take it off and play with it flying through the sky if you uh, if you so want to but i i don't i'm not i don't play i don't play with my my toys <laughs> right onward and upward so quick update um i managed to find a uh, small stand from a piece of plastic from a printer and i put them perspex uh support onto the stand and now the thing starts to pop out and it works very well and as you can see i've added one or two little bits more i haven't finished the course by a long shot because i've got more greeblies to add but the whole thing begins to now work as a display piece which i'm very i'm very happy about and i can turn the whole thing around and the magnet a magnet holds which is what i was worried about that it might not hold but now you can see the whole thing as it turns and the whole thing works okay guys i'm going to leave that there for now i will probably post another video soon uh, very shortly 
uh, before Christmas uh, to update on the uh, progress of the uh, spinner but uh, I think the work completed over the last day and a bit from uh, the initial the initial uh, construction has been has been well worth it and I'm well on the way now well on the way so um, yes I will post another video before Christmas uh, and then we will break for the Christmas holidays but as we are at the moment that's the uh, that's the spinner model uh, looking I think pretty good let's do one more turn around so you can see um, yeah there's lots more wiring to do underneath I haven't quite figured out how it's going to look underneath I might add some fins you never know but uh, for now yeah happy with that really happy so once again thanks for watching uh, keep subscribing and uh, give us a thumbs up but uh, there that's the spinner model for now bye guys